welcome back. This is part two of uh, dumping the 9000 series or the 8000 series uh, B drives uh, for the uh, Xbox 360, uh, hackingjungle.com. Uh, <coughs> here we are with the board uh, already wired up. As you can see, you got the jumpers there. Uh, have the uh, switch, and I have the switch uh, in the on position. As you can see, it's over these two poles, and uh, they that's important. So we just turn that on. No uh, uh, serial cable, USB port. The USB cable is necessary. Uh, ignore the probe; that's unnecessary as well. Uh, we have it like we have it in the drive. All we do is cut on our power to the CK3. Powers the drive. The switch on. We go to our computer and we uh, open up DOS Flash and we use DOS Flash 1.8 uh, and uh, Do that version 1.8 and DOS Flash 32 and I just fire that up. And you can see it's going to MTK vendor intro and when it says that I'll say no. <clears throat> and right here you'll see it pulls up your uh, flash chip. Uh, at this point, come back over to the, uh, the drive and I'll turn off the switch. And I'll go back to the computer and I'll read the flash. And when I read the flash, I'm going to name it, uh, just pick, a, pick something to name it. I'm going to call this one 9000... <coughs> and as you, as you can see, it's reading bank one, two, three. Reading finish, uh, reading finish, data sum. And now it says flash successfully read, press OK. And I will close out of DAWS Flash. And when you close out, Uh, everything and I'll cut my CK3 off. Uh, don't worry about that. Right. <coughs> so now to, to check to make sure I got a good dump I'll open up Jungle Flasher. And open my source uh, firmware, and we called that uh, 9000 vid. And as you can see, it pulled up a proper uh, key. So at this point, what we're going to do? Go back to the drive, remove the drive from the computer. Go back to your soldering station, and with a uh, tip, and make sure your tip, whenever you're uh, soldering anything, has uh, uh, liquid solder on it, uh, because we're going to be removing the wires now, and it just takes a minute. Make sure that you uh, desolder. Don't yank off the uh, your points because you can uh, pull off the contacts on the board. Okay, we have that off. Next thing we're going to do is we have to bridge. Uh, those areas that we've cut previously, I just use a piece of resistor wire and a bit of solder to hold it in place and make sure that you get all three points soldered on there and one more little piece 
where we didn't have any wires cut. Just drop that on there, on the side of the two sides. Oop, that was a piece of solder. There we go. And make sure that both sides are soldered. Okay. <coughs> Looks like a nice soldering job. Place the drive back, the board back into the drive. And at this point,